If you want to make your crochet hairstyles even more affordable and convenient, then you should consider making a crochet wig. In today's video, I'm going to show you how. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiara Nicole and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I make a crochet wig. Now, I love crochet braids, but it can be a little tedious installing and removing crochet braids, especially if you're somebody who wears this style pretty often. Personally, I really don't like to wear my crochet braids for a long period of time or really any protective style. So I knew that making a crochet wig was going to be the way to go for me. That way, if I only want to wear the crochet style for one week, it really won't be a big deal if I decide that I want to take it out. For me, it's really all about saving time and money when it comes to doing my hair. Um, so if you're anything like me, then making a crochet wig is probably your best bet as well. So for the wig that I'm going to be creating today, I'm going to be using the Cuban Twist Hair. It's 16 inches and it's in the color number two. So the wig cap that I'm going to be using today is a crochet wig cap um, that's also a U-part. Um, so this cap comes with five combs. It has three combs around the U-part, one right here, one here, and one at the top. And it also has a comb in the back of the cap. So guys, to make the crochet wig, it's pretty simple. You're basically just going to follow the same method you would use if you were installing the hair on your head. Except instead of pushing the crochet needle under your braids, you would put the crochet needle through the holes on the cap and attach the hair that way. Um, so I'm using the exact same crochet needle that I used to install my crochet braids before. And um, I'm going to show you the process of how I install the crochet braids to this cap. So I have the hair already pre-separated. Um, it'll go by much faster if you already have the hair pre-separated. Um, like I said in my first video, I separated um, each piece of the Cuban twist hair into four sections and that's how I'm going to apply it today to this wig cap. You want to just take your needle and loop it through the loop. Take the hair and for this I'm just pulling one piece through. Um, just so I don't I don't want the hair to be too bulky where I loop it so I'm just pulling one piece through similar to when you would do the invisible part method then you would just want to repeat this process throughout the cap until you're finished as you watch me crochet the hair to the wig cap I'm going to give you guys six tips to keep in mind if you decide to create this crochet wig for yourself. So tip number one, only crochet the hair through one loop at a time. Um, you don't want the cap to bunch up and I notice that more if you try to put the crochet hook through more than one hole at a time. So just stick to crocheting the hair through one loop. Tip number two, only pull one strand through when knotting the hair. Um, this helps to keep the crochet wig as flat as possible. So you will do a similar method as if you were doing a invisible part. So when you see me pull the hair through when I'm creating the knot, I'm just pulling one strand over. This wouldn't matter as much if you was doing a big curly crochet hairstyle. But if you're going to do the straight crochet braids, I like to keep the hair as flat as possible. Tip number three, don't install the hair too close together. I would suggest installing the hair closer together around the U part and at the top of the wig. And as you get further towards the back, I would space it out much more. Tip number four. Make sure that you take into account how the wig cap fits on your own head. Um, I have a pretty small head, so I never put 
a lot of hair or really much hair at the very back of the wig cap because I know that my head is pretty small so I'm not going to need hair back there but you want to try this out on your own head with the braid foundation that you intend to wear to see how the wig cap fits on your head. Tip number five, blow dry the hair periodically. If you intend to do the straight crochet style that I showed in my first video, you will want to blow dry the hair periodically because the hair looks different in its original state compared to its straightened state. You'll be able to see the coverage better and you'll be able to know where you should add more hair or where you don't need more hair. So what I like to do is um, blow dry the hair after I installed my first pack and then I added hair as needed. Tip number six, divide the hair before you start. This is going to save you so much time and it's going to make the process go by much faster. If you have to stop and separate more hair and divide more hair, it's going to feel like it's way more time consuming. So just right at the start, just take a whole pack and separate it into the sections that you want to use and then just spend the time crocheting after. I know people are going to ask me how long did it take me to complete this crochet wig. And it's kind of hard to give an accurate time with the added task of trying to film and trying to think of the best footage for you guys. Um, but I would say just an estimate, it would take about an hour to an hour and a half to crochet the hair, depending on how fast you are. And then it will take about another hour or so to blow dry the hair. Um, it'll be easier if you have a wig stand or something to sit the hair on. Um, my stand was actually broke, so it was much more of a struggle for me. Um, but honestly, guys, I didn't feel like it took long at all. You just want to get comfortable, um, put on some Netflix or something like that. I'm actually sitting in my living room, and I decided to watch an old season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. So just find something to watch, and I feel like the process will be pretty quick. So here I'm showing you what the wig is looking like after I finished installing the first pack of hair. Here you can kind of look and see, you know, where you might need to add more hair to your wig. And here's what the wig is looking like once I have blow dried and straightened the hair completely. Check out the link above to see my full process for straightening my crochet braids. Here I have my crochet wig all complete. I um, just wanted to come and show you guys another view of the crochet wig. So really guys, I would say don't worry about getting it perfect necessarily right off the bat. Um, you really can adjust this. Um, that's really the beauty of creating a crochet wig. If it's not right, you can always just take it off and adjust it and add hair and remove hair. Um, until you get it exactly the way you want it. Um, so I didn't worry about filling it in all the way because I really want to avoid making the hair too bulky. So once I do my invisible part and try the U part on, then that's when I'll make my adjustments to see exactly if I have enough hair, if I have too much hair. So you just have to play around with it. So in my next video, I'm going to be showing you my braiding pattern for this crochet wig. And I'm going to be showing you how I install it on my hair. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. Let me know down in the comments if you think you prefer to have a crochet wig or you rather just crochet the hair on your head. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content. And I'll see you in the next one.